Hey there, everybody. Steve from Chief Skills back again and saw this post by Paul Choate out on Facebook. And his problem here is he's wondering why he can't get a gable end wall to construct right here automatically. And um, sometimes Chief doesn't work quite right. But part of the problem is that it appears he drew a deck. Then he set a section right here as post to beam instead of just rail to post and put a roof on it and there's no attic wall here and as you can see over here um the railing just comes across because this this isn't a tall newel here it's and there's no beam here and um i've drawn this deck uh on a two-story house here just a little sample and you know he would have his stairs right here but I'm just going to talk about the cheek wall right now, the uh, gable end wall there and why it's missing. But the funny thing is, if you, um, if we took this wall right here and used the break tool right here and broke it anywhere, let's just say right here, and pulled this back around and pulled this back around. Oh, no, I wanted to change this first. So here, we'll go to the rail style page and make this post a beam. And we will go to the rails tab and change this beam to four wide by 12 tall. And then I'll pull this around. And I'll pull this around. And now we have this room here. And if we open that deck room and go to the structure tab, and tell it to have a roof and a flat ceiling. We will get, I have auto roofs on, so let's just change these to gables. Auto rebuild roofs, I should say. And if we look at it, you get your gable end wall. And uh, if we change these, if we go back here and we just take this wall, which is, this wall is just your standard deck rail, and we drag this through and then back over to here uh, and delete this. We don't even have a roof probably anymore, see? Um, so if we, if we said, of course, put a roof over this room and flat ceiling, you'd get a roof. And right here, this wall here is given its directive. If we change it to a gable, you'll get a gable end wall. So, um, now, if you wanted to have a vaulted ceiling in this room, you could open the room again and say, instead of flat ceiling, uncheck that. And there goes your gable end wall. And it's partly because this, this railing wall, if you look at it, is only like 42 inches tall. If you go to the Newell's Ballisters page, it's 42. And so Chief doesn't think you need a wall there. Now, if you wanted to do this and have a wall here, you can draw it in yourself. Go up to the next floor, hit F9, get your straight exterior wall and just draw a wall right here. It looks like it made a, let's change it to a wall type to a siding four. And of course it's sidings on the wrong side, so I'll just reverse it. And I'm gonna change my sap so I can snap it right to there. Actually, I'm just gonna drag it over, it doesn't matter. Right there, okay, let's just take a look. And uh, there's your gable end wall. Now if you open this, it doesn't say uh, attic wall, but we can change it to one right here. And just like a typical attic wall. And there you go, you got your attic wall. So you can put it in manually. Um, so there's lots of ways to handle this. Um, but, um, he had a separate room here. So let's go back to doing what we did before. Let's, um, use the break tool up here and break this, like say right here and change that to post to beam, uh, rail style tab post to beam and go to the rails tab and make this four and 12, click OK, and then drag this around, and drag this around, and then put here roof, but not flat ceiling. 
and then go here uh, and just oh I got to take the roof off this room uh, no roof over this room okay and then we have these two let's change those to gables go down here to the gable tool and just click gable and it rebuilt and we have vaulted ceiling and gable and walls automatically and it's all because of this railing style which is post to beam now he wants a doorway here because he's got a railing coming up let me turn my there we go f9 so i would just put a doorway right here and drag it to it hits there and drag it till it hits the wall over here and then if you look at it there you go and it's that simple and uh, you can do the same on this side uh, so it doesn't look like there's a railing there just put a doorway right here open it pull it to here and hopefully you can clean that up a little now let's see how this looks so that looks pretty good and um I think that's what Paul is trying to achieve there. And it's fairly simple, really. It's just the railing style kind of dictates what happens automatically with this gable end wall. So if you don't get a gable end wall and you want to mess around with why it's not doing it, just draw it in yourself. It's a lot easier than fighting with Chief. And um, you will need a second floor to do that. Uh, you don't want to really draw it. You can draw it, I think, on the attic wall. But drawing things on the attic level is a pain so I would suggest not doing that. So there you go. That's how you get that uh, so-called attic cheek wall right there. Hope that helps.